Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Sir Germany. I'm in Albuquerque, Air Balloon Fiesta. And in this episode, I want to talk to you about doing this composite. It's a two-part series because there's a lot to learn in Photoshop. And basically, what I'm trying to do is mix a specific time of the day with another specific time of the day. Let me show you. All right, mesdames et messieurs, so that's where we left off last time, where I showed you how I, you know, took my C2 preset as a starting point, then changed it to get this photo. Check out yesterday's episode if you're not, uh, if you didn't follow it. Today, we're going to do a much more complex project. It's going to be a two-part, today and tomorrow. So, it's going to be about uh, an idea that I had. Okay, here's the idea. Remember that Emric found this amazing location. That's how it looked when we arrived, okay? It was so nice. We had this beautiful sunrise, but the, you know, there was one balloon up in the air, which you can see here in blur. And I'm like, ah, oh, you know, if only I could have had this sky when the, the balloons came. But what if there was a software where I could mix up different exposure at different times? There is, it's called Photoshop. So what I did is I am taking this photo. Uh, I like that photo because we've got the sunrise and we got the fog. And uh, I'm going to use one of my signature presets, which you can get some of it for free under this video, or you can get every all my collection presets for free if you buy the five-day deal today. Just so you know, it's there, it's there, and it's there. So on this one, <clears throat> I think that I want to go for... Uh, let's see, maybe golden hour for a change. We've always done the sunset. Let's see what the golden hour preset is going to give us. Let's, let's go for golden hour linear circle light. So when you, oh, not bad. Okay, let's go for golden hour linear circle dark. Hmm, too dark. Let's go for golden hour linear circle. Right on, right on. Okay, so I like that. I don't like this house there, so, but anyway, I wanted to crop it. So I'm cropping this house. Goodbye. But I'm leaving it, I want the entire Rio Grande. So I'm leaving just that and I'm going to take that out in Photoshop. And uh, I'm thinking maybe, maybe it's a little too dark. So I'm going to boost the overall exposure just a little bit. Uh, maybe just a sky that's too dark. Something's kind of wrong. But you see, when you do, when you use one of my signature presets, you do 20 to 30 operations in one click. And that's what I do. This is literally what I use every day to retouch. I never go and do all you know my settings from scratch i always use one of my presets that's why it's called the signature preset and you have some of them for free under the link of this video it's crazy okay i like it i like it so that's going to be my base now the problem is look where the balloons are if i zoom in you can see they're getting ready to go they're here okay but they're not there yet hmm, the photo is not completely sharp but that's fine. It's sharp enough for me for what I want to do. I, I'm going to use this for social media. So let me go out of the full screen mode here. Let's make some room. Let's make some room. And uh, you know what? I'm going to throw this photo into Photoshop. So I'm going to right click, edit in Adobe Photoshop 2015. But then I want to use some of, remember I told you if you've been following this series uh, in video number one that the first day we went there, we had a whole bunch of boring photos and I want to use some of these uh, balloons from the first day, like this balloon, for example, let me reset it. And these balloons, I want to use that to, um, I'm going to reset that. I'm going to use that to, you know, do a little composite. I'm going to cheat. You know, I'm going to take the balloons from the day before and put it on the day after. You know, we, we can get creative with Photoshop, and I love that. So, first of all, so one thing you need to, when you do that, we have to match the lighting. So, if I go to Photoshop, you can see here, the sun was behind the mountain. It was not up yet, meaning that there was, everything was in a shadow. You see, there is no shadows at all, because the sun is behind the mountain. So, you don't want to take a, a moment, you see, and same thing here, the, the sun was behind the shadows, there is no highlights on the on, on the balloons. But if I go a little bit later on, like uh, let's say here, for example, the sun went up and it's led differently. Let me show you on a more, you see here, we have a whole bunch of highlights. Uh, let me take another photo or even on this one, we have, um, there is a 
some highlights yeah like uh, let me show you on this one you'll see it better you see how we you have a shadow here and this is a highlight now that does that wouldn't match okay, i need to find balloons which were completely in the dark balloons that were in the dark i actually could use this one i didn't use it in the first time so let's see is this one a little sharp no it's blurry it is blurry but you know what i can still use it it's still fun i can put it in the background because it's kind of turned on it's i kind of like it uh, so what i do is i do this that's my workflow it's a bit it's a little long so i'm going to use remember how i use golden hour preset so i'm going to use a golden hour preset i think the light version on this one i'm just trying to get in the colors so that the colors match yeah too, way too bright i'm going to use the dark ones or this one yeah this one is good and i'm just going to right click edit and open in photoshop okay so let's go to photoshop so now we're going to have a, a second file that's going to appear here in a second all right so here i am in photoshop so you see here i got two files open and the idea is i want to transfer them over here so first of all i'm going to take care of this one I really like this one because it just, you know, it's it was matching the same time of the day. This was in the morning and also this was in the early morning, except, you know, on a different angle. So I'm going to press W or use the uh, quick selection tool. OK, and you just paint over there. Now, where it gets tricky is this part here. So I'm going to zoom in by pressing Z. I'm zooming in W to get my tool back. And uh, if you want to make the tool smaller, you can just hold on a control and alt option, make it smaller. And I'm just going to paint a little bit over here. It's a little actually a little blurry, but that's fine for what we're going to be doing. It's fine. So you see here I have a selection. It's a little too much, but that's fine. I'm going to click here on select and mask. And by doing that, uh, you see here in red because I've selected the red. You see you got a different view. Uh, on black, on onion skin. I like to work with the red one because with the red one, you see in red what is selected. So I can see here that we have a little issue. So you got different tools here uh, to help you make a better selection. The first one, this one is the tool we were using before. So basically when you click one time, it just helps. It's like a plus. And uh, so I can use that to make this a little bit better. Okay, let's see here. And um, now here we have a lot of issue. And that's where you take the second tool. With the second tool, I'm just going to brush over where there is an issue and uh, hope that it's going to do its best to correct the issue. And then you take back that tool and you click on plus. It's not so bad. We'll see how that happens. Let's click radius here. Radius is going to help. Uh, follow along and get a little bit better of the selection. Let me see here. We have an issue. Let's see if we can do better. So that takes a bit of work, you know. It takes a little bit of work. So if you go over too much, you can just hold on the option, the Alt key, and uh, paint that out. Now, if you're not able to do it with the first tool, which is what's happening, you got the third tool, and the third tool. Oops, I don't know what I did. Command Z to undo. You can, the third tool is just a brush. Uh, so you just brush and uh, you can right click and when I brush I like to have 75% of harness and a small size and this way I can just for example I can click here hold on my shift key and click here and it's gonna make a selection it's still enough I'm gonna click here hold on my shift key and click here okay uh, yeah and I will refine this anywhere a bit later on once we are on the uh, on the on the image right now I'm just oops I'm gonna click here on plus and I'm just brushing this with the third tool third tool is just like a regular brush you know which is really cool and here and you know if you're missing a little bit I don't think it's gonna be the end of the world uh, one thing I like to do also maybe is smooth a little bit uh, the uh, selection and uh, feather it a little bit just a little bit and click OK all right so that's our first selection now uh, let's see here I'm gonna pr uh, press 
click on the mask tool so now we have a mask I like to keep the mask and I'm gonna press V and move this one over so this one is over here maybe I want to make it a little big I mean it right now doesn't match so I'm gonna press command T to make it a bit smaller voila and I have to decide if I, I think this is gonna be like my star image okay and uh, now it doesn't really feel there because uh, you know the lighting is different let's zoom in and see how the mask is yeah the mask is kind of weird but I like to crack the mask once once it's there so I'm gonna click here I'm gonna take a brush make my brush very small my brush is big right now very small so I'm holding alt and control and remember when you're in the mask if you press with if you paint with black oops uh, I went back to this mode I prefer to stay there if I put with black a hundred percent black I'm gonna make uh, this disappear. If I press this white by pressing X, I'm gonna make this appear. Okay, so I'm gonna press with white here and just okay. And here I'm gonna press X with black. I'm just refining the mask, making sure it's all good. Here we have a little bit of an issue, so you can hold on. You can click one time, hold on the Shift key. I mean, extracting always takes a bit of time, you know, even although we have this tool, which is really cool, uh, it does take a little bit of time, but I'm kind of happy with that. I think the extraction is kind of good, but it doesn't feel that it belongs there completely. Uh, so one thing that's going to help is that if I bring back some of the fog over it, so I'm going to click here, take my, uh, my brush back, make it big, but this time I'm going to lower the opacity to really low, like, uh, like let's say like 12%. And I'm going to go with black as a foreground, and black conceals, white reveals. And so if I paint with white, it's going to bring back some of the fog over the image. Because that's what the balloons were doing, they were tipping down in the water. So now, already it looks a little bit more there, and I'm going to lower the opacity here. Okay, so I'm kind of happy with that, I need just a lot more balloons in the sky. So let's go back to Lightroom. And let's go back to a time. Uh, I want to get this early morning where we have a lot of balloons. Uh, maybe like this. Uh, yeah, no, something like this. Yeah, that's better. And I'm going to go and go into my presets and use the golden hour preset like what I did before to give it like a yellow look before I extract them. So let's see here. Yeah, uh, no, maybe dark. Let's say golden hour dark. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Just to make them match a little bit more the colors. And I'm going to right click, edit, and open in Photoshop CC 2015. And that's going to be a little tricky because we have a, a lot more going on and I want them to be in the sky. And um, so let's see here. Let's open this up. All right. So on this one, I'm going to go fast because they're going to be in the background. So I'm going to use this, a W for the uh, uh, the the tool, the um, quick select tool. I'm holding on the shift key to go really fast. So I'm making a really fast selection. Select and mask. Uh, and then I'm just going to use this last tool to get the, the bottom, the little bottom that's missing. And you see it's becoming red. So that's it goes much faster because they're going to be in the back. So I'm going to press OK. Voila, and I'm going to press, um, I think on this one I'm just going to press Command J. Command J is going to put them on their own layer, you see, with transparency all around. And I'm going to use Shift and drag this over to my image. Okay, here they are. Okay, well that's better, that was the real morning. And now I want to reposition them, but you see how... We have like a small, sometime when you do this, you have a small white, uh, you know, fringe around the balloon. That's what happens when you do really fast selection. So one quick way to get rid of that is you click here and then you go to uh, layers, matting, defringe, one pixel. And that's going to take one pixel out of everything. It, it did a pretty good job, except on this one. This one, we have a bad selection there. But that's fine. I'm just going to take. I'm going to press E for the eraser tool. Make sure it's at 100%. Click because now I'm not on a mask anymore. It's a destructive workflow. Click one time. Hold on the Shift key. I'm just erasing this. Hold on the Shift key to erase that. Same thing here. Okay. And voila. 
So now we have a few problems. We need to, uh, you know, make the balloon at the different places. We need to make this match a bit better. And that's going to be in tomorrow's episode. Tomorrow's episode, we're going to take it from here and we're going to finish this composite. So see you tomorrow. By the way, if you go to my website, you will see that the only thing that it's talking about is a five-day deal, photosearch.com. And we just decided to give on the top of the five-day deal, anybody who buys the five-day deal, all my signature preset and all my contest bottle. That is $700 worth of bonus on top of the $2,500. And that is only if you buy it from this page. You will see there's so many tutorials from so many people. It's unbelievable. Uh, you got including five... Uh, new courses go, so go check it out the five-day deal it's the best deal of the year if there's only one training you want to buy is this one because you're going to get so much training for months and months and months check out my website photosearch.com